Welcome to Lines to Go installation videos. Today we will be removing and installing fuel lines on a 2007 Chev Impala with Lines to Go part number FL254-B. While this particular installation is on a 2007 Chev Impala, this set of lines will also work on the following gear, make, and models as shown in your screen now. Lines to go lines are made using original equipment end forms and fittings that are CNC bent for an easy and precise installation. We have also upgraded to stainless steel braided Teflon hoses for rust protection and to prevent surface fouling. These have an unlimited shelf life and anti-static PTFE liner. This set of lines to go lines are made from G2 Galfan coated steel tubing for rust resistance that exceeds OEM standards. Tech tip. Disconnect the battery before working on a vehicle to reduce the risk of shorting out the battery on tools or lines. Lines to go lines are made with a sectional design for easier installation. We also use color coded unions on our sectioned lines. Just match the colors at the connections. Make sure to depressurize the fuel system before starting the installation. Tools required are 10mm, 13mm, 18mm and 19mm sockets and ratchet, 16mm and 19mm wrenches, quick disconnect tool part number 5230-01, flat blade screwdriver, cutting pliers, drain pan, jack and jack stands. The level of difficulty for this installation is considered to be easy. To depressurize the fuel system, locate the fuel pump fuse using your owner's manual and remove it. Start the vehicle and wait for the engine to stall. Make sure to replace the fuse once completed. Start by disconnecting the battery using a 10mm socket. Remove the plastic engine cover by removing the oil cap and stem and picking up on the cover. Replace the oil cap so nothing can fall into the engine. Using a flat blade screwdriver, remove the safety clip from the fuel line connection. Using the lines to go disconnect tool, part number 5230-01, disconnect the pressure line from the fuel rail connection. Remove the vent line by pushing in on the plastic tab and pulling up. Use a flat blade screwdriver to open the plastic bracket securing the vent and fuel lines. Using a 19mm socket, remove the left front wheel from the vehicle. Remove the fuel lines from the plastic brackets located inside the left front wheel well. Cut both fuel lines behind the front subframe using a pair of cutting pliers. Support the rear of the front subframe and remove both rear bolts using an 18mm socket. Lower the rear of the front subframe. Remove both front lines from the vehicle. Depress the plastic locking tabs on the quick connect fittings and disconnect both the fuel and vapor lines from in front of the fuel tank. Using a 10mm and a 13mm socket, remove the bolts securing the plastic brackets underneath the vehicle. Remove the fuel lines from the plastic brackets and remove them from the vehicle. This set of lines reuses the nylon vapor hose from your original lines. Line up the old and new lines. Mark them both on a straight section on the nylon. Cut both lines using a sharp razor blade.
Install the connector onto the new line. The original nylon hose will be installed into the connection later. To begin the installation of your new lines to go fuel lines, start by installing both rear lines into position. These lines will be labeled A2 and B2. Connect the fuel and vapor line to the fuel tank quick connections. Next, route both front lines into position between the rear of the front subframe and the body of the vehicle. These lines will be labeled A1 and B1. Next, install the line labeled 3996-01 into position. Connect it to the top of the pressure line using the quick connect fitting. Connect the original nylon vent line into the connector. Make sure it is fully seated. Connect the vent and fuel lines using the quick connect fittings and replace the safety clip back onto the fuel line connection. Secure the two lines into the plastic clip located on top of the engine. Behind the front subframe, connect the front and rear sections of line together, noting the lines to go color coded connections. Tighten both connections using a 16mm and a 19mm wrench. Replace the lines back into any remaining plastic clips. Secure them using a 13mm and a 10mm socket. Raise the front subframe and tighten both bolts using an 18mm socket. Replace the left front wheel and torque to spec using a 19mm socket. Reconnect the battery using a 10mm socket. Replace the plastic engine cover securing it with the oil cap. This concludes the installation of fuel lines on a 2007 Chev Impala with lines to go part number FL254-B. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to purchase the lines you saw today, please call us at 1-855-781-5992, email us at info at linestogo.com, or check out our website link below. And don't forget to take advantage of our free two-day shipping. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below and we will see you on our next video.